Welcome to Microsoft Excel 2010 Beginner Level 1, brought to you by ExcelLearningZone.com. I am your instructor, Richard Rost. For those of you who are beginners, our goal for today is to get you up and running with Excel 2010 as quickly as possible. The first hour of tutorials will cover using Excel 2010's interface, including the ribbon, the quick access toolbar, and more and you will learn how to enter data into a spreadsheet and then edit that data. You will learn how to format a spreadsheet to make it look more professional, and you'll learn to perform some basic math operations in a spreadsheet. Finally, you'll learn how to save your spreadsheet to disk, load it back up again, and print it to your printer. This class is designed to be used with Microsoft Excel 2010, a part of Microsoft Office 2010. If you are using an older version of Excel, you should visit my website at ExcelLearningZone.com and look for my older tutorials covering Excel 2000 through 2007. If you are using Excel 2007, you should have little difficulty following along as most of the topics covered in this course are the same. If you are using Excel 2003 or earlier, you really should either upgrade to Excel 2010 or purchase a tutorial for your version of Excel which again you can find on my website. Before taking this course, I strongly recommend that you take one of my beginner Windows courses, either Windows XP, Vista, or Windows 7, depending on which version you have. You should have a good understanding of how to use Windows before taking this course. You should be familiar with such topics as how to log on to Windows, how to use the keyboard and mouse, how to launch programs, how to maximize and minimize a window, how to use the scroll bars, and you should know the difference between the backspace and delete keys. All of these things are essential for understanding Excel. If any of these concepts seem unfamiliar to you, please stop now and take one of my beginner Windows courses first. If you are planning to learn Microsoft Word in addition to Excel, I recommend that you take my Word 2007 beginner course first, then move on to Excel. Microsoft Word, and word processing in general, is easier to learn than working with spreadsheets. If you're new to computers, you'll find it's easier to get some experience and practice using Word first, then move on to Excel. Learning the Word interface will help you to learn the Excel interface, as many features, such as the ribbon, are very similar. In my Word 2010 Beginner Level 1 course, you'll learn how to use the Word interface, entering and editing text, formatting text, using the clipboard, saving and loading files, and lots more. This is the Beginner Level 1 course for Microsoft Excel 2010. This class is for the novice user who has little or no experience with Excel. In today's course, We'll cover just the most basic features of Excel and teach you how to edit spreadsheets effectively. Our goal for today is to get you up and running quickly with a simple Excel spreadsheet. My courses are broken up into four groups, Beginner, Expert, Advanced, and Developer. My beginner courses are for novice users who have little or no experience with Microsoft Excel. They're designed to give you an overview of the basic features of Excel and cover just what you need to know to be productive. When you finish the basics, it's time to move up to the Expert Series, which is designed for users who are already comfortable with Excel. Expert classes are designed to teach you more about all the standard features of Excel that people use from day to day, and will go into more depth about each topic than the beginner classes. You will learn all about the options, alternatives, shortcuts, tips and tricks, and extra features that we might have skipped over in the beginner lessons. When you've mastered the expert classes, the advanced lessons are for Excel power users. You'll learn how to record macros, build user forms, create your own templates, and many more advanced features that not everyone will use, but they really add enhanced functionality and professionalism to your spreadsheets. Finally, my developer level courses are designed to teach you how to program in Visual Basic for applications with Microsoft Excel. This will allow you to create Excel-based programs for your users, automate your spreadsheets, 
and to integrate Excel tightly with other Microsoft Office applications. Each of my series are broken down into different levels. For example, the beginner series starts with level 1, that's this class, and is followed by levels 2 through 5. Each level teaches you new and different topics in Microsoft Excel, building on the lessons learned in the previous levels. When you've finished all the beginner classes, move up to the expert series, then advanced, and finally, developer. Now let's take a more detailed look at what we're going to learn in today's class. In lesson one, we're going to begin by learning about the Excel interface. We'll learn how to start Microsoft Excel. We'll learn about the title bar, the window controls, and the file tab. In lesson two, we're continuing our look at the Excel interface. We'll look at the ribbon, ribbon tabs, groups, commands, and dialog box launchers. Continuing on with the Excel interface, in lesson three, we'll learn about the quick access toolbar, the status bar, the zoom control, and the scroll bars. In lesson four, we're going to finish our look at the Excel interface. We'll start with the formula bar, then learn about the parts of a spreadsheet, including rows, columns, and cells. We'll learn about the mouse pointer and the different sheet tabs. In lesson five, we're going to learn how to enter data into our first spreadsheet. In lesson six, we'll learn how to edit the data that we entered into our spreadsheet in the last lesson. In lesson seven, we're going to start looking at how to format our spreadsheets to make them look more professional. We'll learn about cell alignment, cell ranges, bold italics, and underline. In lesson eight, we're going to continue learning about formatting our sheets. We'll learn how to change the font, the font size. We'll learn how to resize rows and columns. And we'll learn how to change the foreground and background colors. In lesson nine, We'll learn how to perform calculations in Excel. We'll learn how formulas work, and we'll learn about the basic math operators. In lesson 10, we're continuing on with basic math in Excel. We'll learn how to add multiple cells together, take an average of a group of cells, and we'll learn about the order of operations in mathematics. In lesson 11, We'll learn how to save our workbook to our computer hard disk, load it back up again, and print our spreadsheet to the printer. If you need help with the topics covered in today's lessons, please feel free to post your questions in the Excel Interactive Student Forums. If you're watching this course using my custom video player software or online in my web theater, you should see the student forum for each lesson appear in a small window next to the class videos, if you have an active internet connection. Here, you will see all of the questions that other students have asked, as well as my responses to them, and any other comments that other students have made. I encourage you to read through these questions and answers as you start each lesson, and feel free to post your own questions and comments as well. If you're not watching your lessons online, you can still visit the student forums later by visiting excellearningzone.com slash forums. To get the most out of this course, I recommend you sit back, relax, and watch each lesson completely through once without trying to do anything on your computer. Then replay the lesson from the beginning and follow along with my examples. Actually create the same spreadsheet that I make in the video. Build a spreadsheet with me step by step. Don't try to apply what you're learning right now to other projects until you've mastered the sample spreadsheet. If you get stuck or don't understand something, watch the video again from the beginning or tell me what's wrong in the student forums. Most importantly, keep an open mind. Excel might seem intimidating at first, but once you get the hang of it, you'll see that it's real easy to use.